To mitigate the fireball created by the hydrogen-burning Delta IV heavy rocket, the staggered engine start sequence begins with ignition of the launch table HBOs, burning off the excess hydrogen injected into the flame duct. Next, the starboard Delta IV Rofi lights, igniting its RS-68A engine. Then, the center and port RS-68A engines ignite to generate more than 2.1 million pounds of total thrust to lift the 1.6 million pound triple core rocket off the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Delta begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. 79 seconds into flight, the Delta IV reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound. Two seconds later, the rocket experiences maximum dynamic pressure as it travels through Earth's atmosphere. With propellant depleted in the port and starboard boosters, the engines shut down and the boosters are jettisoned to shed their weight. The remaining booster engine then throttles to full power to maximize performance against gravity losses. Once propellant levels deplete in the center booster, the engine shuts down. Delta IV separation then activates to release the first stage. The vehicle now weighs approximately 6% of what it did at liftoff. Following jettison of all three boosters, the Delta Cryogenic Second Stage, or DCSS, main engine ignites. During ascent, NROL-68 is protected inside a 5-meter diameter payload fairing. After traveling through the densest part of Earth's atmosphere, the payload fairing is jettisoned. The Delta IV Cryogenic Second Stage will carry the payload to its final orbital destination, where it will begin its national security mission.